What's up, guys, girls, and water enjoyers? Mm. Uh, big fan of water. Anywho, today we're on the 2.2 GDPS and, and we're gonna do some gaming. So like a week ago, I made this level called Loops Are Weird, where I did some really brief experimenting with spawn loops um, to try and understand how they work, because in when 2.2 comes out with platformer mode, that's what's gonna make up like 90% of anything interesting. I, I think it's all right. I mean, it took me like 30 minutes to figure out how to do, but I, I think it's something all right. So what I thought would be cool was to maybe today try and make a more structured level that uses just a ton of spawn loops. Just, just, just spawn loops everywhere. If if something is moving, then it's probably on a spawn loop. If something doesn't have a spawn loop, then it probably should have a spawn loop. So as per usual, whenever I make a 2.2 GPS level, we're gonna use this song that I made, because quite frankly, I have an ego. And we're off. So first things first, let's make this a platformer mode level, obviously. Uh, let's get a basic structure down. I think let's get the player on to like, like a block first to start onto like a platform works pretty well we're up here now all right we're gonna get silly right away what if we have like a, a ring of orbs rotating and they're all like different kinds of orbs i think that would be pretty cool because depending on when you hit it it would do different things uh i actually don't think that a rotating orb is the best way to go about this i think that what the best thing to do here is actually just have like a, a thing here all right, so now you fall into place. So now that I'm done messing with the setup, we can actually do the uh, the, th the thing. <laughs> so uh, it's gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna do toggle two, three, four, and five all off because that's our orb groups. And then we get to manually turn them on and off one at a time. I also get to determine the timings because I don't know how this works, um, but the timings that you set these things at kind of just works. Like it, that timing is kept in the spawn loop, which is pretty helpful, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, like that, right? Maybe that's too fast? Okay, we'll space them out by one more block. That should be good. And then... <laughs> it's magical. All you gotta do is just move it back, and you just click Create Loop. And it just works? Like, that's crazy! So, now, we can, you know, we can build a little bit of level based on which one you hit. So if you hit the pink one, you'll go down here. If you hit the red one, you can go up here. If you hit the spider orb, you go up here. <laughs> okay, and then the dash orb shoots you all the way up there. <laughs> okay. Huh, I didn't realize that hitting your head while dashing stops the dash. Do H blocks prevent that? No, they don't. I guess we could just do a blue orb. You know, just just switch up the gravity a little bit. All right, um, I think let's work on the pink orb path first. So you'll get here, a little, little spike there. Let's put some maybe moving platforms. Let's have, have, have some moving platforms, an infinite platform generator. But before we move on to that, I just want to remind you all that if you are enjoying the video so far, to hit subscribe, baby, yeah! We absolutely demolished 100K and now we're setting our sights on 200K, let's go! All right, back to platforms. So we'll have like this, this kind of deal. Th I think World 1, 2 from Mario, right? So I might be stupid, but I think this should just work, right? Yeah, it's moving down, we're moving down. <clears throat> I am stupid. See, now this is the part of spawn loops I don't understand. What, uh huh? Why did it just start working again? And it's gone. This doesn't seem like something that should really be that hard, I feel. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh my god, dude, you suck. Why? It was so close to being perfect. Why must you spit on my dreams? No, now it's moving too fast. 
This idea sucks. I give up. Not doing the moving platform idea. All right. What if instead of moving platforms, because those are clearly stupid and don't work, uh, we just have a series of platforms that pop out of like the ground? Maybe we'll we'll make a little section here, some platforming. So we've got this one here, and we'll have it like bounce. And then afterwards, we need to make it slink back into the depths. Oh, wait, that doesn't give you very much time. Simple as that. And then we'll just select all of that, create loop, and it should work now, right? Am I awesome? I am awesome. So now all we gotta do is copy this to other places and build helper it. And we've got ourselves a quirky little puzzle. What if we like randomize the delay a little bit here? Just have slight variations, add some excitement to the game, add some zest to an otherwise bland part. We'll just put our regular end platform over here. Okay, um, I'm gonna test how this works, actually. See if I did this right, or if I suck. And let's do it. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> okay, I kinda like it. I think the random timing is actually kind of, kind of awesome. It's really uniform when they first come out, which I think we can maybe fix by, by literally, literally just moving all the triggers back because if all the triggers are uh, by the start of the level then uh, the spawn loops will begin much earlier yeah so we have that and i think if we just move this up and over i think that'll do us wonders oh yeah <laughs> oh my god okay you can like barely make it to the to the fourth or fifth one or whatever let's wait for another cycle hmm Oh wow, the first and second one are like offset now. Ooh, that is devious. Sometimes you just get a timing that you just can't even make, which is like maybe stupid in your opinion, but I think it's kind of awesome. <laughs> All right, well, we have got that. Let's see if we can do something with maybe the top part now. Like this is the this is the uh the pink orb section. But what about the other side? Let's do something with the blue orb part now. So you're here, you can't even bother with what's down there. What if we have some spikes that just pan along the floor in like a turret motion? Like they just slide back and forth. Or actually it probably it would probably fit thematically better if they were saw blades. I like this idea, but I feel like it's really hard to make, like, a, a pattern that is, like, interesting. Here's an idea. What if we align X all of these? <laughs> yeah, now they're, like, constantly moving. Okay, that's an idea. So we've got this loop now, and it does work. So what we can do then is, let's just grab this and just, oh, let's just randomize that up. Just gonna screw with the delay on everything. I'm not gonna touch the ones with a delay of zero, but I will touch the ones with a delay that isn't zero. So it's not random, there is a pattern, but it's the fact that there's four objects that are moving on different cycles, so I feel like it's essentially random. Oh yeah, look at this. None of these boys are going at the same time. How? Is this even possible? This seems really hard. Oh. Huh. Alright, new plan. We're gonna do something a lot more boring. Genuine question for GDPS creators. How do you make feature-worthy levels on this GDPS where it's so easy to just lose all of your progress? <sighs> fine. That's fine. Oh, what if we use the random trigger? All right, so instead of doing uh, that other thing, I decided to take the route of, I don't even know what this is. Something much less cool, um, but it's something. Now you gotta, you gotta, you gotta dodge the scary bat guy. Um, so that's, yay.
All right, we did something. Oh boy, all right, we gotta start making some more progress here, I think. So that's the blue orb and the pink orb path done. Okay, let's do something on the red orb path. Hopefully something that isn't really dumb and stupid and impossible and annoying to set up. So you're in the red orb, you're gonna go up here, and then what? Uh, what if we sort of take one of my ideas from that test stage I did with the platforms that shake side to side and then collapse? Like, what if we just do that a bunch of times? So like we'll have a couple of these and then maybe we can have a couple of like big ones right like in the middle and those ones just like slam down and they, they stay down for like a second or two so let's experiment with that okay it's a bit fast <laughs> um yeah okay and then it'll rise back up simple as that so let's do that build helper that this is this level is gonna be a mess in the editor by the way god bless anyone who tries to like dissect this level in the editor uh, if anyone is so foolish as to do so because you you got your work cut out for you i think now we want to deal with the big boy here so i'm thinking what am i thinking oh <laughs> wait wait that's an idea what if the forces of this this obstacle are so powerful that they impact time, time itself? <laughs> Lovely. And then that 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 one will stay down for a, a good second before rising back up. And then we'll just put two of them back to back. Oh man, I just realized the time is going to be freezing every two seconds. Oh boy. Well, this is going to be an awful experience. Why are, why are those down there? Why are those down there? Oh, what have I messed up? Oh no. Dude, that's actually so awful. The time warp is so bad. Uh, well, you made it through, we, we made it. Um, I think I'm gonna make the conservative decision that uh we're gonna toggle all of this time warp bs off until you uh get near it toggle off 94 and then once you once you get over here we can toggle it back on if you feel so inclined and then once you get through you can toggle it off all right we've got our um blue orb section our red orb section and our pink orb section done uh, there's only one left, and that's our spider orb section. I really can't believe that I have to do all this work just because of a silly little gimmick I thought at the start. Like, oh, let's put an orb, the different orbs. <sighs> Alright. Spider orb blips you all the way up here. And what do we want to do with that? Maybe just some basic, like, moving platform parkour. <laughs> kind of want to go for something a little bit more chill. Something that doesn't require nearly as much effort in the nicest way possible. Believe you me, I'm not skimping out on videos or anything, but do you see what I've just gone through? Yeah, that works. So, you will jump and then put maybe a platform here getting a little a little bit a little bit adventurous but maybe one that moves up and down maybe we could put one up that kind of alternates like the other direction well there you have it we got two platforms that are offset now that you gotta actually have some level of timing to get on maybe now we'll try some uh some quirky little moving uh rotating platforms so we'll put the center here uh, i don't really know what i want like i don't know maybe some chains can be the pegs we got the tall chain. All right. And then we have this. <laughs> oh, it Oh, it stopped. Well, that's not really supposed to happen. Why did it do that? Come on, man. I created the spawn loop and everything. Okay, what if we do this then as like sort of a jank bypass? Why must everything be so difficult? Okay, well that does look smooth. And now what if we create a spawn loop out of this? Does that work? Okay, well it does work, but you can see it stop for a second. This game is gaslighting me. Hello? All right guys, I got a great idea. There we go. Now it's really future-proof. It may not necessarily be infinite, but I challenge you 
to wait until the end of this. Oh, the icon's slipping a little bit. The icon's a little slippery. Quirky idea. We copy. Build helper. Thoughts? I think it's pretty good. I'm joking. Well, not really. Like, I am gonna do this, uh, but my reason for doing it is uh, so that way you can swap back to normal gravity with this precise jump. Ooh, okay, well, I made it. How hard is that? Okay, well, it seems like it'd be very hard. I think I'm getting lucky. <laughs> You'll jump over to here. Uh, let's do one more spawn loop because that's what the video is about. And um, I think we're gonna call it. Maybe you jump over here and then you finally reconnect with those other paths, um, but you'll have to, it'll have to just be like a teleport portal because by this point you're like so far away from those other paths that there's like no hope. We'll drop you here. You'll, you'll, you'll reconnect with the other pathways at uh, this teleport portal. This is such a disconnected level. I didn't anticipate this. I was anticipating this to be more uh, linear. Why am I such an idiot? Why did I think it would be such a cool idea to split the paths immediately? It was the first thing I thought of. It was like, I think first thing is first. We should split the paths. Oh, so stupid. Actually, you know what? Maybe it would be better to have like a static camera at this point. Yeah, that's that works because now we can we can see the entire play field and it's just a whole lot better I'm not a huge fan of how the icon is all slippery uh, But it works and I beat the level And here we are right back at home. All right, is there anything else that we can do here? I think it'd be cool if we did one thing that you had to actually do you know, because all the other stuff up to this point is technically optional, depending on what path you take. Idea, what if we do sort of like a mini gauntlet of various game modes? Yeah, so we're in a situation like this for however long. Uh, and then, yeah, then once you get out, then we'll move on to the next one. All right, so we finally got that set. I um, think we should be good to... Hopefully make this a loop. You know what? I kind of dig it. I kind of, I kind of think that the speeding up randomly is kind of funny. Uh, I did, however, forget the crucial factor of the spikes also need to reset <laughs> at some point. Um, that's gonna just be trial and error. I'm just gonna make it show. No shame. I'm reusing gameplay. And I don't feel, I don't feel bad about it. So you're just gonna, <laughs> you're just gonna see the spikes shift back seems a little bit unfair to the player <laughs> all right all right guys fun announcement we're gonna do this the easy way say goodbye to your stereo madness ground that clearly has motion because we're going all black blocks <sighs> the black blocks are great because you t you can't really tell if there's motion or not. Yeah, you can't you can't even tell if there is motion because it's all black. It's all one color. You can't even tell what's going on. And I think that's just the best way to handle this. The problem that we do need to worry about is that it doesn't work now though. Alright guys, final playtest time. No, I'm kidding. I am actually going to do... I am going to do another thing. So, I, I really can't be bothered to do anything complex at this point. This level has essentially annihilated my energy. So we're gonna do something a little bit playful with the uh, end trigger. So I'm thinking that we just have a bunch of one block platforms, uh, except... and they and they move around, right? And one of them just says, like, end on it. <laughs> uh, you just gotta jump to the end platform. Maybe like this one. <laughs> I don't know. 32. That's not good. I think that I used 32 earlier. Dude, I just broke something, I think. Oh, I didn't know the paths overlinked, overlapped. That's not a word. Dude, it's actually hard because of the overlapping blocks. That's crazy. No, dude. Oh my god. Alright. Kind of cheated on that one, but... Okay. Oh, I did it. I did it. I did it. Behold. The worst platformer mode level ever. Let's try and play it from the start and see what part of the level broke. All right. Oh, spider orb part first. All right, daring. Uh, we're here, and we go down, and we're back. Nice. Easy peasy. 
That part works just fine. Pink orb, all right. I gotta wait eight years because of my ingenious game design. Okay, I suck. Ah, blue orb, a delicious choice. All right. Oh, it was the saw blade. I broke the saw blade. Nice, all right. So blue orb path doesn't really work. Red orb path. Oh, I think it's working all right. With that, I, I think we've successfully created a mistake. Um, that's pretty awesome. I didn't even turn on multi-activate on these orbs, dude. Oh my god. The stop trigger doesn't work. All right. Well, <laughs> I don't know what to do, but I'm not gonna do anything. Thanks for watching. I'm not gonna upload this. One, the GDPS servers don't even work. I can't upload this even if I wanted to. And two, this level sucks. So you would not have a pleasant time playing it, I feel. Special thanks to all the channel members, including the Carl, Villalder, Wintera, Gato, HXC, Pen G Plays 149, Zand Lol, I guess, and Pineapple Guy. Uh, I, I bet that all of you guys know how to use the 2.2 editor and how to use triggers and spawn loops and all that good stuff. Thanks for the support. Thanks for supporting a broken shell of a man. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video video.